Hey, welcome back to Outdoors with Lori. It's day two on a long weekend. Uh, even though migraines have kicked my butt, um, seems like if I get out in the coolness of the water, it helps a little bit. And I keep shaded, I keep my top of my hat wet and my sunglasses on, but uh, just the, the peacefulness of the river and I'm gonna show you the view here. I'm down at Meadow. You go down to the bottom of Sandstone Mountain on I-64, take that exit, take a right, follow the road till it ends. And you're at the public access, the lower part. What I do is um, I put in right here and I'll paddle upstream, up through there as far as I can. Usually it's one, two, like four or five rapids separated by large pools like this one and I just play around surf if there's any little waves it's really you can see how low it is right now uh, but it's nice um, we got the she shells down here and um, looks like there's several people parked down here so that means people are um, oh look here uh, people are um, probably fishing, so they've set their um, shuttle down here and then had take had t someone take them up stream and they'll fish down. So we'll probably run into some rafters or people in duckies. So today is nice, peaceful, quiet, beautiful, warm day. Looking forward to it. So, I made it to the second little rapid. The first one wasn't really a rapid at this point, but this is the second one. I paddled across stream that was over back there. And I've worked my way across the river, and I'm sitting here behind this rock holding on my paddle. And this is the view. And about quarter on the right side of the river, looking up, so it'll be the left, left side coming down. I think I'm going to ferry over this little section, and then see if I can work my way up, and then go across that upper part. We're not trying to go up this way. It's too hard. If it's all the rocks, it's too hard to get up past this rapid. So I usually go all the way over to that big rock there. And then I'll just go all the way to the shore and kind of drag up through. And then I'll go to the next Just about finished paddling up as far as I can. If you see the white caps up there, I've tried to get up above them, and I can on on this side of the river, which is river left over here, way up there. Um, but just I can pull. I can. I have to pull my kayak up on shore for a long, a little bit of a long haul. To get up above that one little rapid and then just go right through the rapid so i probably won't do that today i'll probably stay over here to the other side over here and kind of hug through there and get some pictures of the rapids maybe surf a little bit and then head back downstream this is about if you're just kind of taking your time and resting and taking pictures, you know, just being leisurely. It's probably, I'm trying to think what time I got down here. 
like a three or four hour day if you paddle upstream to this point and then then come back but I, I can't remember when I got down here so it's it's probably a four hour thing I think I got down here around two so it'll probably be a three and a half four hour I'm sitting here just below the little rapid it's just hard to get around you have to uh, you have to pull a long ways and then you got to come back through here uh, I just kind of, this has always been my stopping point when I come upstream it's pretty